All right, so this week we are going to start with At Your Name. Um, so on this song, what you guys can do is come in on that first chorus um, and stay in until the very first time to the bridge. Um, that first time will just be, There is no one like our God. We will praise you, praise you. There's no one like our God. We will sing, we will sing. There is no one like our God. So right there when the drums come in is where we can come in together the second time through. Um, and then really until the end, we stay in together. Um, so yeah, so coming on that first chorus out the very first time to the bridge, and then it'll go through the bridge two more times. We'll be in on those two times together, and then we'll stay in until the end of the song. Um, and then on Lead Me to the Cross, uh, kind of the same setup. Uh, we will come in on the first chorus together, um, stay in through verse two, and then we'll go out um, when Lindsay goes down to that bridge. To your heart. Sorry. Um, but we'll go in that together. And then, um, yeah. And so then it'll go through, lead me to your heart. And then it gets really big, and then it falls out. Um, and so it just stops for that half second. Lead me to the cross where your love poured out. Um, and so, yeah, so we'll come in on that second time to the bridge with her, and then we'll stay in until the end of the song. Um, after that, we'll have our scripture reading, and then Emily is going to lead us in Jesus, We Love You. On this song, come in on the first chorus. Um, and then after that, um, really, if you listen to the track, the harmony stay in. Um, what I think would be good is um, for us to just kind of stay with Emily um, on that very first bridge. Let's just stay melody with her. Um, don't overpower her, but let's just stay melody with her. And then the second time through, we'll come in with the harmonies. Um, just so that way we can kind of, you know, kind of create just a big sound effect during that bridge. And then the second time through, we'll actually split into parts. Um, but yeah, so really on that song, we're staying in the whole time after the chorus, just when it goes to that bridge, let's all switch to melody for a second, and then we'll switch into parts. Once we get done with that, um, we will have our, uh, our message time, and then we'll go into Cornerstone. Kind of what we'll plan to do um, on this song is we'll never really get big at all. Um, and so instead of like going into a beat, um, really we'll just kind of keep it really light. Um, and so what we'll do there, Barbara, is do it just like the track as far as singing goes. Just know it's not going to really get that big. Um, and then... So we'll come in on that first chorus together, and we'll just plan to stay in um, with you until the song kind of finishes out. And then on Jesus Paid It All, um, we'll come in on the first chorus together, um, out on verse 3. Um, that's just kind of, if you listen on the track, it kind of goes down there for a second. And then we'll all come in together on, um, I'll say, He washed in white as snow. And then we'll all come in together the whole time on, Oh, praise the one who paid my debt. We'll just stay in the whole time on that because I think that would sound good. Um, and then I'll do that very last verse by myself. Um, so if you have any questions on that vocals, let me know. But right here, band, <coughs> is where you guys will start the video. Um, just know at your name, lead me to the cross, Jesus, we love you, and Jesus paid it all. Those are going to be just like the track. Cornerstone is going to be different. Um, we won't ever really go into the beat and won't ever really get big um, just because uh, with it being the response, I just don't want us to kind of get stuck dynamically. Um, so kind of what we'll do is, Pat, if you just kind of want to come in with some some washes or something, just kind of there in the chorus. And then um, on verse 2, maybe just like um, just a really light like snare roll, just really light to where... Um, if you needed to, you could just kind of crash out if we needed to end it. Um, and you could kind of keep that snare roll going through chorus two, um, or if you would rather do washes, either one. But I just don't want us to get too much into a big beat, and then all of a sudden we're kind of stuck there dynamically. Um, and so dynamically for the rest of the band, still play the parts that are on the track, just again, not too big. Um, so I hope that makes sense. If you have any questions, though, let me know. Um, but that'll be it. Uh, usual usual practice times for everything, so no Thursday rehearsal, and then 8.15 call time on Sunday morning. <laughs>